Are you a streamer looking to upskill your content today? This is the video for you. What I'm going to be showing you guys is essentially really simple. You've probably had it before. You're listening to music on stream. However, you don't want it to show in your actual VOD afterwards or in your clips, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step video on how you can replicate this and put it into your own streams, whether it's OBS, Streamlabs, it's all pretty much similar. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this in OBS. However, a lot of what I'm showing you is pretty much identical when you're doing it through Streamlabs as well. So when you first open up OBS, you'll see this kind of page here. Um, as you can see, you've got on my one, for example, we've got your chat box here. I've got TikTok chat here. The overall kind of like gameplay screen over here as well as like your scene sources, all that kind of stuff as well. And obviously you can see me in the corner as well. Um, so what you're going to need to do first of all is go all the way up to files. Up here, you will then see settings. And then once you get here, what you will then need to do is go into the one here called output, as you can see here. Once you're then on this one, guys, all you need to do is um, from here, you'll have all these different areas that you can tick, all that kind of stuff. You'll see a lot of the stuff on my one is grayed out just because I've got another box ticked elsewhere. However, all you would need to do is go to the one that says Twitch VOD track, and then you will then here choose whether you want to tick it off or on. For the sake of this, you are going to turn this one on and then here you're going to choose whichever track you want to be your VOD track, aka the ones that you don't. So essentially what this means is track number one, let's just say that's your stream one, that is what they're going to hear on your stream. Track number two, this could be the one that actually when you fill, fill, finish your stream, you're broadcasting, everything is now going to go into there. So your VODs, clips, that's what capture number two is going to be recording essentially. So. For the sake of this, we're using audio number two. Um, what you'll then need to do is if you just go to whatever track you don't want to include um, within your VOD. So for example, say mine was music. Um, you would literally go down here, go to advanced audio properties. Within here, you can kind of see all my different audio sources that I use. So like camera, main audio, uh, mic, music, all that kind of stuff. Uh, from here, all you would need to do is go to the right here, and this is where it's going to tell you all your tracks that you've got. And as you guys will remember earlier, we made sure to put our VOD track as track number two. Um, and then from here, all we need to do is make sure this one's unticked, and then that is literally it. You can do it for whatever you want to include. If for whatever reason you wanted to not include your mic in your VOD, you could do that. If you didn't want to include like the game chat, that kind of stuff, you could also untick it for whatever audio source it is you're doing and um, all that kind of stuff's there. Next time you guys stream your audio for music or whatever it is you didn't want to capture in your VODs, it will no longer be there anymore. That was all you had to do. Super, super simple. Um, before this point though, and if you want, I can make a full fleshed out video on it. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you think it would be beneficial. Depending on if you've got a external like audio soft external audio hardware or you're using just like internal software i can show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it depending on what your audio setup is like for me i've got a road uh, roadcaster pro so all my audio is funneling through that however you can also do this using software such as steel series gg if this is something that would interest you guys i'm more than happy to make a video let me know in the comments down below if you think it would be beneficial and um, but yeah if you enjoyed this content and it works for you make sure to drop a sub, uh, give the video a like, give a comment, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, share it with a friend as well. I'm sure it will probably help out other streamers that you know. Um, so yeah, any kind of help I can give guys, do let me know. And if there is any other technical support you guys think you need, please let me know in the comments down below. I would be more than happy to look into helping with any kind of like tips or tricks that you guys need to know. But if you made it this far in the video, guys, do comment Shrek. It would be really cool for me to see 